Shut up, woman. Shut up. Shut, shut up. Hey, if y'all want to test y'all system, man, y'all go to heavy base test. Type up. Shut up, woman. Type up heavy base test on um, YouTube, man. That's what I just used, heavy base test. My partner sent me that. Uh, he watched my video and said, hey, man, you ain't got to worry about no copyright. Here goes on. So I, you know what I'm saying? That, that was my first time listening to it. That's why I listened to the whole thing. I wanted to hear if he gave me different options. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. Right now, man, <laughs> we're going to get to what this video is about. Um, right now, I'm actually headed. Come on, man. I'm actually headed to that dealership with the old schools again. Because if y'all familiar with my previous video I just posted, I went and got a, um, purchase order on the Hellcat. So, which, that Hellcat was 83000 Um That was the Daytona. I mean, that's the one I want, but, man, I found one a lot cheaper than that, and it's not a Daytona. So, I'm right now, I'm going to get the purchase order on the old school, because, like I said, I really want the old school. And what I failed to mention, and the, I didn't fail to mention, I found out later last night that uh, I can actually get that wide body kit, the whole kit, for like $3,000. You know what I'm saying? So now that's back. Now that's that's an option again. That ten thousand dollars wasn't an option. It was strictly like, okay, I'm I'm gonna buy a haircut. But now that it's an option again for three, I pay three thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I found that I can get the kit for that. So now I'm going back up to this dealership, look at these old schools again, and get a purchase order on which one I want because. I'm going through my credit union and they want a purchase order of, you know what I mean, how much the car is, this and that, and all this and that. So I gotta have the paperwork showing what the car is, the exact number that they want for the car and all that. So that's what I'm going to do. So once again, we're gonna go back to this dealership. Uh, Mazi coming up here too. Hopefully it don't take him too long because I'm not, I wouldn't stand up here for a minute. But I'm gonna wait on me. Because he stay farther than I do from here. So, I'm going to wait on him regardless. But y'all subscribe to this channel, man. I, I don't forget y'all his IG. Y'all subscribe to this channel, Living With Mozzie. But, um, yeah, so I'm headed up here once again. Maybe they have something new in here. Or maybe I can talk to somebody. If they know, you know what I'm saying? Look, I'm coming in. I'm buying this car right off, man. I need it to be this price. You understand me? Um, yeah, so. But I pretty much... I pretty much got approved, like, bro, I pretty much got approved for, I can go get a, a 2020, I can go get a 2020 wide body, like, scat pack or something, you know what I'm saying, easy, but I can also get a Hellcat, but I, I want the Daytona, and the Daytona is, that mug, like I said, that one was used, and it was listed at 83,000, they want 83,000 for it, so it's like, man,
so these oh, I, so these cars actually belong to other people and y'all just selling them through we are only a consignment uh, okay showroom yes oh okay Probably ask people don't mess with them. I got you now. It makes sense. Yeah, it's just a liability. That makes yeah. sense. Appreciate it. Yeah, sure thing. This is nice, man. It's the one they brought in the other day. And these prices are firm. Be oh, between, oh, between the dealership and the owner. Okay. As in, if you want to negotiate, that's not really our bag. That would be with the owner. Okay. They really work with somebody. It really just depends. Wow. Fortunately, if the current owner of this car isn't willing to budge, right. there's nothing we can do about it but try to argue on your behalf. Right, right, right. I like this. Yeah. I like this. Thank you, thank you. I didn't know it was home. show y'all this one other day. I, I walked around it, but I ain't really show y'all. Pretty dope, though. Push start right there. Push buddy. Oh, he got some money in this car. Definitely got some money in this car, man. Seats redone and everything. Camaro right here. It's impressive. Look at this, man. They want 44000 for that. 350 in there. Look at the insides. Look at that. Look at it. This thing crazy. I'm not a Camaro fan, but the wheels gotta go too. But as far as the body of this thing, this thing crazy. That Grand Torino, I told y'all, I ain't like. Well, I'm gonna hopefully try to drive this one right here, man. This one I want. This one I want, bro. I like these seats in here. Look at seats. Carburetor, bro. I used to have the same problem. Back fire. Uh, that's why I hate it. That's why people switch to this, bro. They ain't gotta deal with all this. Tell you what, do, bro. Buy you something that's tow up. Not tow up, but you know, like, like that wouldn't buy. That that wouldn't be a good buy for me, bro. Put exactly, that's what I'm saying. Put that's that why I'm thinking about getting that, that Skylark. That Skylark, bro, that Skylark, it ain't put together, but you know what I'm saying? It got the seats in there, but of course, I'm a rapper out of it. You think, you, think that, you think that Plymouth already like put together? That one right there? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't eat because I don't think, I don't think, I don't know, bro. That car, I mean, you can buy it and change it. That's what I'm saying. I but, want, I want to change it. I want, like, that, I want the black. That car, do that? I don't know. That car I already put together, though. Yeah, there you All you right. Know. All right. I'm Tom. That's the Mitchie. That's the Mitchie. You too. So we uh we looking at a couple of cars. He's looking at this one. 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 He's looking at this
I don't know whether I want that one, this one or the other one. Oh, this one got 91,000 miles on it though. in there the seats. that's i actually like the seats i wonder if they comfortable though yeah they shouldn't be too bad i mean they're an aftermarket yeah i actually like them the bucket seats with the console i like that that was 39 is this the true, true mileage? Yeah, I ain't think. I ain't think so. What do you have on it? Like twelve thousand, pretty much. It's just it's an older restoration. Yeah. I can I can change them seats myself. Yeah, you can get seats like that yeah. for anything out here. The only thing you have to watch out is the spacing. Yeah. Because if you get them too tall, you'll be up against the right. You're head a bit against the roof. I had um I put two thousand I put some two thousand nine Dodge Charger seats in my Caprice. Oh okay. And it was it was it was perfect. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, those those Charger and Challenger seats, the new ones, mm -hmm. man, they're comfortable. Yeah, yep. they are. They're yep. super comfortable. Real comfortable. Just like the little little real comfortable too, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So there what was it the 09? We had a we get a couple of the SRT eights in. Mm -hmm. Wonderful seats. Those yeah. are the greatest seats ever. Yeah. You know, the, they really, Lopar did a really good job on those seats. Yeah, they comfortable. I see another one over there. What's up with that red one? It's, I think it's another one straight ahead at the front next to that, that beige truck. Yeah. I'm just into that, that body style, man. Yeah. This is cut. Yeah. This is bench seat car. Oh, he's automatic. Yeah. Cut down. This is the one that's kind of crazy. We were actually talking about this car this morning. You're supposed to be fixing this car. This one, I like this one. What's, uh, what's, what's wrong with it? It's got a transmission in it. Oh, okay. There's a 350 V8 in here. They want 22,000? Yeah. Wow. That's a good price. <laughs> wow. Huh? What is this? Oh, it's a veil. Can you, can you start this one? We have to do some dough. Uh oh. <laughs> I only that's about it. That's the most amount of cash I carry. I just I just got that from the gas station today. Uh, can you start? Can you start this one? If I bought this, this is this paint or oh, wrap? Yeah. Paint. Yeah, they got to come over there ASAP. I mean, yeah. I know. You know what I said? I'm so used to saying, Jay, yeah, yeah. I, when I seen that, I said, why can't let Jay rap this? I thought about it like, man, he bet I rap this car. Fire up, baby, come on, come on, come on. Get better. Come on, come on. 
That battery is. <laughs> that battery probably yeah, weak. He's a little low. Yeah. There we go. Come on. It's almost there.
I like this, bro. I really like this car. I can make this a convertible. That'll be something different, something you ain't seen. Body style good, wheels good, it run good, sound good, motor look good, motor sound good. You know what I'm saying? It just seemed like the way to go. Yes, sir. So, man, we leaving right now, but this is what we came for. I came to pick out the car that I was interested in and get the buyer's order on it so I could take it to my bank and see because the thing with the old school cars, they not sure that they're going to finance it because it's old. It's an old car. Banks don't typically, certain banks don't typically finance old cars like this. But I like this car, man. We're going to see. And I actually got the, um, the, uh, the okay to talk to the, the boss of the credit union so I can kind of you know what I'm saying it's, it's up to him whether he want to do it so I can kind of talk to him try to persuade him into doing it you know what I mean but that's what today is about and any other day it's me going to see what car I want I'm not in a rush bro because I want to make the right decision whether it be a Hellcat old school whatever it is I want to make the right decision bro I don't want to go back ah, I should have got the Hellcat or ah, I should have got the old school you know what I mean so I'm really thinking hard on this old school. I got the new school, man. I got two of the new schools, man. You understand me? I need that old school. I'll show y'all one more time. I'll show y'all one more time, man. Now, what y'all think about it? It's a GS, man, Grand Sport. It's a, uh, Buick, 1970 Buick. Grand Sport Stage 1, got a 455 in it. Show y'all once again. All this, you know, all this will be coming out, man, but I'm gonna redo all this. Find some seats, and if I get it, find some seats. Might see about trying to make it a convertible all that, bro. Um, I wish I could have told him to pop that trunk. That's, that's big for me. So I know what I'm working with as far as speaker wise. That's big for me. Yeah, I don't I guess you can only pop the trunk with the key. I know on my Caprice, that's why I say it had a it had a button where you can pop, pop the trunk. But it don't look like this one has that. Bro, what I didn't know, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't notice this. Cause I, I, I ain't never been into into the 70, 69 models, bro. I've been like box Chevy, Cutlass, 84, 87 type type time. I did not know that the old school cars don't come with mirrors on this side. No mirror. You got the mirror right there. But <laughs> no mirror, my just told me. I didn't know that. So look right here, no mirror. He ain't got no mirror right here. But he got a mirror over there. That truck. Well they put that they truck, they put one on there. But this car, this car got don't have a mirror on the right side. But that this one, one do. Right that one do. This one don't got a mirror, but that one do. We just talked to him. He bought five cars out of here. That, that's one of his cars right there. He ain't finding it. Yes, sir. He ain't finding it. Nothing. He bought it. He bought it. <laughs> yes, sir. Ooh, sounds smooth, brother. <laughs> Hey, that's that Chevelle over there got a 454 in it. He say that thing literally fly. Like, that what he say? <laughs> he said fly. Oh uh, yeah. But this is what I'm thinking about doing, man. We're gonna see if they gonna okay this. But I really want this car, man. So we're gonna see what's up. But 44 game, and this is gonna be a wrap. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Uh, we gonna stay. We gonna keep looking for something. We trying to bring another car to the channel, man. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my boy, Living with Miles. But uh, I'm out of here. Y'all know I know my videos. In the meantime, in between time to the next video, I let your boy on out. Yes.